Welcome back to another RuneScape adventure video. We've got a wild episode for you today where we investigate underground activity in RuneScape based on tip-offs from the community. There's an account that was hacked and recovered with insane progress on it. A bot mule that I found that drops what it's supposed to mule. An advanced PK bot that targets other bots in the wilderness. And even cheats uncovered to help with the new Desert Treasure 2 bosses and more. So let's get right into it. Tip just came in with the headline, my maxed peer was turned into a next bot. This person said they had a maxed one defense peer, and they hadn't logged in for years. But since Deadman Mode is coming back soonish, it's time to check out RuneScape again. And when he went to log in, his account was already logged in. So he decided to turn the recorder on and try to log in as soon as the hijacker had logged out. Look what he found. He logs in at Nex. Defense trained to 70, prayer to 74, his pure account absolutely ruined. The account is also equipping Armadil, which is exactly what next bots wear from the ones I've caught previously. When he goes to check the bank, it has a value of 464 mil, not including the gear he's equipping. 99 mil is in cash. And in the GE history, lots of supplies was purchased and next loot sold as we'd expect. He went to check the collection log and the account got 635 next kills. And it received two horns and full Torva with a dupe set of plate legs. He price checks all the gear he logged in with, as well as the cash and the loot from the bank. And it comes out to 562 million GP. Looks like he caught the bot before it was supposed to mule next, because the bot had that 100 mil in cash, as well as the nihil horn on it worth 340 mil. What an insane discovery when someone just comes back to RuneScape and finds their account completely changed with 560 mil on it. Too bad his max peer was ruined, and I really hope he secures his account ASAP. Some weird stuff is happening in free to play. I get a tip that there's a broken mule in Castle Wars on World 470 just dropping rune sets. And sure enough, there's a level three with a bot like name wearing a fire tiara, not on the high scores there. And there's also kind of a sus level 46 in full iron and a myth scimitar also with a bot name, standing at the pull booth. And it's also not on the high scores. Nothing happens for a few minutes. I log back in 20 minutes later, and while I'm filming some more B-roll, the account starts dropping a noted rune set. But there aren't any other accounts under it. Just the level 46 a few tiles away. And I pick up full rune, 20 pizzas, and an amulet of strength. 15 minutes later, this account logs in on the same tile. It has 10 hit points, 85 magic, 65 smithing. No idea if it's connected, but I really doubt it. But right after it logged in, another rune set is dropped. But I still have no competition picking it up. I get every item. I logged out for a few hours, but the person who sent me the original tip sent me another that they're still at it. So I hop back on. This time, the level 46 is on the same tile where the sets drop, but it still doesn't pick anything up, and I pick up a third set of rune. When the fourth set started dropping, I decided to see if anyone would pick anything up. The level 46 was still under us, so I left the amulet of strength on the ground. And after like 15 seconds, either the level 46 or the level 3 picked it up. I'm guessing the intended target of the mule is that level 46, but I feel like the mule is broken. Why one set at a time to the same account? I guess maybe they're trying to stay under a certain GP value of the gold transfer to avoid detection? I don't know. I sent it to the anti-cheating team and haven't heard back. At least it's an easy 600k loot though. We'll get into one of the more advanced PK bots I've ever seen right after this. Enlisted is a new kind of first person shooter that uniquely couples PvP with PvE combat. You can take command of a squad of customizable AI soldiers and fight in massive battles with hundreds of targets led by other players. It offers multiple campaigns to play through featuring their own unique weapons, vehicles, and equipment. So you can go from the outskirts of Moscow in 1941 to the heart of Berlin in 1945. The campaigns are so varied that they feel more like individual games because they offer completely new experiences each time, featuring new equipment, uniforms, vehicles, and locations true to their historical time frame. And the game is hardcore where it matters. There's a very short time to kill for infantry and realistic damage models for vehicles, which makes battles incredibly intense and fun. I love the variety and detail of the weapons, tanks, and aircraft. They've got famous tanks like the M4 Sherman, but also obscure guns like the VG2, which makes the game never get old. So play Enlisted free now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, or the previous console generation using my link in the description. There's a free bonus pack for registering using my link including multiple weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. After my last video where I showed a basic bot someone had made to kill low-level bots in the wildy like Lava Dragon bots, someone reached out and said, Actually, you're kind of at the tip of the iceberg here, and sent me some footage of a much more advanced PK bot that targets Revenant bots specifically. Ones that have 
a lot of anti-PK mechanics built into them. And you can tell it's programmed specifically for this purpose because the bot script equips a rune crossbow to get the revenant bots to protect from ranged, but then cast surge spells to do magic damage. This is a basic and universal way to always hit the bots off prayer. Their prayer is synced to the weapon the attacker is equipping, so if you equip a crossbow and cast spells, you'll always hit them off prayer. And in the first clip, unfortunately the bot gets away, but the second clip ends with the PK bot getting the kill. And I didn't get any more info from the sender about, you know, how many of these are running or how much GP they make, but if even 10 of these PK bots were active at once, they'd probably cut the entire Revenant bot Bot farms profit in half from all the kills and time wasted. Each kill is usually 200 to 500k from my experience, so each PK bot is probably making 2 to 5 mil per hour. And I don't know how many of these are running, but part of me hopes a lot. I am so down to watch botters make scripts that target other bots. This game is crazy. The new Desert Treasure 2 bosses are out and everyone seems to love them, which is awesome. But within a couple days, cheat plugins were released for these bosses on multiple cheat clients that do auto prayers, have specific hotkeys for specific attacks, auto gear swaps, and more ways to basically turn the bosses into completely brainless activities. This is the only footage I could get. Now, it's not quite fully botting, and the cheats are extremely expensive. But one thing I wanted to point out, these aren't plugins for large bot or gold farm operations. From what I can tell, their main user base are high level PBMers. What is the appeal of this? Isn't the point of the game to progress and learn new techniques and get better at certain bosses? The satisfaction that comes from the game is trying something, being bad at it, and learning and getting better. So why play, especially at a high level, like you've devoted a lot of time to this game, if you just buy cheats to be able to do all of the bosses with your eyes closed? If you aren't aren't cheating to get real money like the botters and gold farmers, what's the incentive? Just think it's worth pointing out that like a non-significant number of the high level community seem to be cheating. Right after I'm looting the rune from this broken mule, I start getting tips about hundreds of accounts at a free to play farm, the one north of Port Serum. So I go to investigate and sure enough, we've got over a hundred level threes and they're all picking eggs from the farm and banking at the bank deposit box in Port Serum. It looks like there are also some basic combat bots training on chickens here, and so eggs are 43 GP each. Doesn't really seem worth it. The botter's probably just doing it for some sort of entertainment. But obviously, let's try to buy the dip. This has got to crash the price of eggs if they're mass dumping them. I put in an offer for 100,000 of them at 5 GP each, and logged out. 48 hours later, I've purchased 6,000 eggs, and they insta sell for 37 GP. Easy 200k profit. Now this may be the strangest community made thing I've ever seen, but also the potential is massive. Someone named Boxed Works, and their YouTube channel will be linked in the description. Watching that is like being in a trippy RuneScape dream. So. This is AI generated RuneScape content. The script basically picks a location whose area has been downloaded and puts it into the Unity graphics engine. Lumberge Swamp, the Grand Exchange, places in the wilderness, you name it. Then it picks from a list of five default characters, Bob, Larry, Sam, etc. In each location picked, spawn points for characters, camera locations, and valid potential actions like fishing and woodcutting can be randomly chosen by the script. This info is then all fed into prompts to get dialogue for the conversation from ChatGPT4 and translated to audio using pre-trained neural networks like Eleven Labs and SpeechBrain. I'd say this setup is still in its relatively early stages, but if it's perfected, it could literally create an endless high quality RuneScape sitcom. So if you want to see more of this content, definitely check out Boxworks channel and follow along as the content gets better and better over time. The link to his channel is in the description. I got a tip that the PVP worlds or deathmatching worlds, which is how the tip off refers to them, that's depressing. <laughs> Anyway, the tip says the deathmatching worlds are overrun by rag bots. It's bizarre. Literally set up in a circle around the Grand Exchange, there are at least six of these accounts with mainly almost maxed combat stats, some maxed. They all wield myth crossbows using emerald bolts enchanted to poison the players they rag. The tip says they're all run by one person and they're there to prevent anti-raggers, aka people trying to stop raggers. So it's another layer of ragging 
preventing other people from trying to rag the raggers. What's the purpose of this? I have no idea. Is it deathmatching clans fighting for territory? And I couldn't find the answer, but if you know, reach out. There's a bot farm that's been popping up at Ghouls in Mauritania in Rune Granite and Dragon Longswords. Lots of them. I get tip-offs and waves about the bot farm as it grows. So I tracked a few usernames to see what they're actually for, because it's definitely not just to kill ghouls. Their stats are all leveled similarly, but also relatively evenly spread out. Like, they have a thousand total level, but not many stats above 60. So I recorded a few usernames and waited a few weeks. Two weeks later, they all have 70 attack, 60 strength, and 60 defense, but also 85 plus magic, some 85, some 88, which was the biggest change. They don't have any boss kill count or anything like that. Anyone know what they're for? I've never seen this stat pattern before. Some of them were also banned in that two week time period, which is a good sign. Thanks for watching everybody, and just a reminder to go check out Enlisted using the link in the description. Thanks to Enlisted for sponsoring this video.